Good morning, buddy. You wanna go pee? You wanna go try and pee? Easy. Come here, Charles. Pee? You're a good boy. Easy. Come on. Easy. Eddie, your brother can't play, okay? No running. You do your pee, buddy. No, oh, over here. Charlie, no. Charlie. No. Charlie, stay. Good morning, and welcome back to our new daily routine. You probably can't see him because he's hiding behind this little tree here, but Charlie is very much in a mood and is just not, it's, it's not been a good week. It's just been a struggle. We are trying to take him out to pee. He, all he wants to do is run and he's pretending like he's in absolutely no pain which we've learned is pretty typical of golden retrievers when they need this surgery. Just in case you missed last Sunday's video, let me catch you up to speed. We were making huge progress on installing the siding for the shipping container home until Charlie tore ligaments in his leg that meant we had to drive to New Brunswick for a surgery consult. With a plan to get his leg working again, this is what life looks like while we wait. I don't know what to do with him. Like, <laughs> What are we gonna do with you? What are we gonna do with you? Easy, easy. Did he go pee? No. Oh my. Can this I is him with some breakfast? <laughs> this is, you can see his energy. It's kind of we'll fascinating wait. how the further away from his in injury we get, the more energy that he has. It's almost like he's forgetting that he hurt his leg, which puts us in a really tricky spot. So we're constantly yelling at him to lay down, like easy. be still, just relax because we made the decision that we didn't want to medicate him as much for bed rest, which is common, especially with high energy dogs like Charlie, but we didn't like the way that he was reacting to the medication. He was kind of dopey and just not himself. So yeah, we're just kind of stuck on what to do. We might have to increase it because it's not getting easier. It's actually getting worse. And like, this is why one of us has to be 24 seven with him. Yeah, the other thing too is when his medication was higher. He he basically wasn't even home, so yeah. he couldn't use the bathroom. Like he didn't poop for like four days. So yeah. Anyway, it's and just welcome back to the yeah. vlog. <laughs> really <laughs> tricky. And then like it's such a mess. We've got the podcast all set up. So today we're actually going to divide and conquer. And Ty's gonna stay here and try and get the living space back in order. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over and try and continue on with some more siding. All right. I'll start putting this stuff away, I suppose. I think I'm finally ready. Look, even got a little tool belt. Cute. Where are we gonna put this? So if I'm using this hand and going, ooh, we're gonna wanna reach this way for a screw. Boom, screw, boom, screw. Hammer, with the knife in here, blade away. Oh my God, shut up. It all. Fits. Look at this. I tell you what, you ain't gotta go to work, work, work. Oh, I wish Ty was here with me. 101 and 102. This is confusing, man. I'm gonna figure it out. So, two five eighths is ten eighths, which is one quarter. 38 and a half is 39 and three quarters. Okay, I think we're starting to get a bit of an understanding. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Nails, when the product explicitly says screws. So side pieces, how are y'all gonna go on? Ho oh, ho! Yes! Fucking A, man! Sorry for swearing, but. Wow! 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 Oh, oh you. <laughs> I should go take a nap. So, turns out, Charlie doesn't want to eat his breakfast and also doesn't want to go out to pee, so we're gonna let him just do his own thing and have a little bit of a sleep. No, 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 no. Can't even talk about him, apparently. You lay back down, because that's gonna be your sleeping spot, and you leave him alone. See, you can be friends, but you can't run. Oh, who knew that creating a podcast would require so much equipment? So, all these panels here, these are lights, so it makes the dome look nice and bright and you can see our faces clearly. That is a big light. Isn't that cool? It goes that small. 
lot of cords and cables. Hey boys, there's a lot of cords and cables here. What an absolute mess. And untangling cords. Maybe one of my least favorite tasks to do. What that's for. That wasn't bad. Hey, did I scare you? No, what's wrong? Lay down. There's nothing out there. It's wind chimes. It's wind chimes. Nothing. I managed to get all those cords untangled and the lights are put away. It's starting to feel really good in here. It's feeling like a home. Also, I'm done fighting with Charlie. He's laying there. He doesn't want to be on the dog bed, which is more comfortable, obviously, but it probably feels like the coldness, coolness of the floor probably feels really good on him. So I'm going to let him do his own thing. And he's curled up with me. I was just about to put these microphones away and I thought I'd answer a question that all of you seem to have when we're doing the podcast. <laughs> They're like covered in dog hair. When we're doing the podcast, like why are we using such such like big obnoxious microphones? It's for a really good reason. These are professional sound mics. So even though the microphone that we have on top of our camera is really good quality, it's not good enough quality for podcasts. So we want the sound to be as good as it possibly can, especially if you're not watching the podcast and you're just listening. So hopefully that answers that question. But I just got an idea. I'm gonna go um, digging in the freezer in the outhouse and see if I can find something for lunch. I'm just like not in the mood to cook something at all. So I feel like that's a nice <laughs> second alternative. Make it easy. Welcome to the outhouse. <laughs> see what we have. Veggie lasagna might be good. Some days, you just know you should stay in bed. All right, so this is definitely a little frustrating. We've been trying to reuse the pieces, whether they've been ones that we took off that were installed incorrectly or the cuts that were inside, but none of them are working. So unfortunately it's looking like all of the material is gonna be garbage that's been used. And we're just gonna to have to work through what we've got of the brand new stuff and then place an order for whatever else we need. Why the f won't it lock in? I think we might be in. Okay, I know I said that was my last one, but it didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped, so I need to do one more just so I can know if I'm on the right path. With all the podcast equipment in its bags and away, it looks so much better in here. Because there's this space in between the countertop and the wall, it is the perfect place to put all the tripods and lights and everything that goes into creating these videos. I'm curious if you guys are surprised like how much equipment actually goes into creating a video. I know I am. I, like every time we set it up, I'm like, wow, this is a lot of stuff and it takes a while to put it up and put it down every time. So having it back there and handy for in a few days when we, when we record the next podcast episode, like it'll just make it easier. So feeling pretty good about that. But these floors, <laughs> Look how disgusting they are. I'm gonna grab the vacuum and the mop and get cleaning this up. Gotta go, Squirrely. Gotta go. Look at this. Just underneath the chairs. So I said that I needed a mop and vacuum. I didn't say who was gonna do it. This robot, truly the best thing that we've gotten. It. It makes it so easy, especially because it has this like clean water tank and then a dirty water tank. So it doesn't just vacuum, it also mops behind. Oh, like I'm just gonna sit here, do some work, and in probably 30, 40 minutes, this whole place is gonna be clean. It's cute too. The boys know that if they stay over on that carpet, the vacuum can't get them. Also, Squirrel doesn't seem to be phased by it at all. She's just grabbing a drink of water, minding her own business. All right, I'm gonna catch up on some computer work. You shine so bright. 
All right, it's time to tackle the window. Wish me luck. Oh, this is a nice one. 91, three All right, so the window piece is in and it looks really good. And the best part is Ty just yelled out that lunch is ready. So I'm on cloud nine right now. I'm gonna go eat, come back, and then it should, fingers crossed, be smooth sailing all the way up. But honestly, who knows? Cause this took half a day. So, oh my. How's it going over there? Awful, but this goes in. I got up to the window pad. Yeah. Oh, corner piece. I saw this pan online where every piece is a corner piece. Okay. I don't know about it all, love. No. At least we get to have a nice hot meal. Yeah, with my hot man. How come kids can't have pop? Is it the sugar or the carbon? Carbon dioxide. And um, neither. I don't think a kid should have caffeine at all. What, is, what does a kid need caffeine for? Well, if you want to keep your baby awake, you can give it a bottle of coffee. Like, say you're lonely and you want a best friend, but the baby keeps going to sleep, well, you just give it some coffee. Okay. Would you like an espresso, Angelica? Oh, no, I'm going to be besties. With my, I'm going to grow my hair really long and we're going to braid each other's hair. Curl this <laughs> and braid from here all the way down. Sounds like you have a little bit of like a Amish fantasy going <laughs> Hmm. I don't know about it all. Very overwhelming lately. Yeah. Okay, so we should probably not sit on the couch because then you know what always happens when we sit on the couch? We end up laying on the couch. Oh my, I should continue on with sighing. Gotta get that house finished for little Angelica. <laughs> Tyler hasn't complimented me on my tool belt yet. Ooh, I was gonna try these. Surely some of these are going to work. Okay, so that measurement works. So let's just do it. I definitely earned some brownie points for having a nice hot meal ready. It might have only been a boxed frozen lasagna, but Todd got a burst of energy after we ate and he headed back over and is doing the siding again. I don't know what came over him, but it's going to feel good to have as much of this done as possible. Like, why wouldn't we? It's just, it would be done probably like three times as fast if the two of us were there. Not that I'm like some siding expert by any means. It's just holding the pieces. They're really long and they kind of like warp out as you go along. Anyway, I'm hanging out with big guy. I just finished doing all of the dishes and cleaning up from lunch. I decided to mop and sweep the floors again. <laughs> I love that thing. Actually, I should check the water. Look at this. So this is the clean tank. This is the dirty tank. Isn't that disgusting? This is not an ad, by the way. I just absolutely love robotic vacuums. I think that they make life so much easier and like, they're just amazing. This is so gross. All of this muddy water. That was on the floor and I did it all without having to lift a finger. Obsessed. I think it's the coolest thing ever. I'm sure Todd is up to something more interesting over there with the siding. So I'm just going to continue tinkering around here and tidying. I'll send you back over to him.
I stayed out pretty much as late as I could, but unfortunately the days are way shorter this time of year, so... Yeah. I know it makes me sad although it does make me happy because then you light up the darkness with Christmas lights which is on the to-do list but it was a good day I feel you know count the win I got a little bit of a pattern going near the end how it always goes but I find if you go in and then kind of like pull up on the siding as you're doing it and screw in with that tension on it, it holds it better. Like it stops yeah. it from dropping. You looked pretty cute with your tool belt though. I loved the tool belt. It's so functional. I totally understand why everyone wears them. And honestly, I don't know how I forgot that I had one for so long. Thank you for saying that because I um, did tell them that you hadn't complimented me yet on my tool belt. Did you actually? I did, yeah. <laughs> That's so freaking weird. Yeah. I mean, you want to beam? Oh yeah, totally. Huge shout out to Beam for sponsoring us. Not only are we obsessed with it, our moms, both of them. Love it. Love it. Um, easy Christmas gifts. <laughs> very easy Christmas <laughs> gifts, but the mint chocolate chip flavor. We were on the peanut butter cup for a while, but once we got through this bag, we ordered this one, the mint chip. Oh. So good. It is so good. But so the way that Beam works is it's filled with really like natural ingredients. Things like L-theanine that help you have a more rested sleep and not wake up in the middle of the night. Melatonin that helps you actually fall asleep. Functional mushrooms, which are so good for your mind and your overall wellness. It's just a really great product that I, I can't really pinpoint it. I just feel better the next morning after waking up and not tossing and turning. That's enough for me. It's like, huge. It's, it's just huge. Also, you looked really cute with all those scientific big words just then. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a scientist. <laughs> By using our link in the description box down below, you'll save 35% off your first order. So make sure you click that link. What do you think? Ready to brew these up? Time to brew them up and have a beam dream. Yeah. All right. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Night. Good morning. A huge thank you is in order to Sue, Todd's mom. She's over sitting in the dome right now. Thanks mom. She's keeping him company, nice and warm and cozy with the fire on. And we are gonna tackle this siding. We are gonna get all of this section done today. It has to happen. It has I like, to. I like it though because it makes me feel like it's bring your best friend to work day. Yeah. So you're with me today. It really isn't as fun doing this alone. Um, like we just work so well together. If you've been watching the channel for years, you know how well it, it happens. So I feel like they're being stretched open right now. <laughs> 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 like let's take this serious. <laughs> what happens for me is I just have so much that I want to say and then I'm having those conversations in my brain instead of out loud so my brain gets all confused and I can't really function but now you're here with me so I can just keep talking. That's the ADHD. What? What? I'm not that like cool about this. Oh, oh you're in a lot of easy community. What me? Do you know where this tool belt came from? No. Remember when drywaller stole like they took our deposit and never came back to finish the job. They left a tool belt and a drywall square. And I said, I'm keeping these. Oh yeah, I like the tool belt. Yeah. So the plan is leave the hard parts for later and then work our way up? Yeah. Okay, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Inspector Man, is our siding good enough? Oh, 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 oh. It's like ghost version of installing siding. But you gotta hold the drill too. Like, I find it very interesting when we said about the siding, how everyone was like, I hope they're paying for it. No. <laughs> no. When a contractor messes up, your choices are you could sue them and then go through all of the stress and all of the drama of dealing with that, or you can just cut your losses and move on. And that was the decision that we chose to do. It's yes, a we. Bit to work it through, they messed up, and we still had to like 
feel like we were nickel and dimed throughout the exit process through all of this anytime uh, someone messes up a hundred percent like the way that the way that this ended up shaking out is we still ended up paying for their time we didn't get anything back for the materials like for us that was the right decision because we could just move on and now we can crush this so yeah and now we get to install siding in the snow all right we've got all the perimeter around the first piece up it's looking so good it has started to snow a little bit todd says that we're supposed to get five to ten centimeters something like that i find that hard to believe but we get what we get yeah he's in full christmas mode now so you guys know what that entails if i can't do if we can't decorate can i at least start my christmas lego yes that's fair okay okay Okay. The snow has definitely accumulated. You can see it there on the trees. It's kind of beautiful. Oh, whoa, look at it here. There's snow on it, I know. That's why I gotta try and dry it so the Sharpie shows up. We're literally putting the last piece on and mom just left, she has to go. So this is nice. We'll be able to go back over and hang out with the puppies. Looks good, love. You like it? Yeah, I think we should start a siding business. Yeah, I don't think so, love. <laughs> wow, look at that. We almost got one whole side of the house sided. <laughs> it's the smallest amount of siding per side, but it looks really good. It does. Oh, do you know what else is gonna look good? What? My feet up with a glass of wine in my hair. Yeah, I'm, um, I think we did good. Let's, let's clean this up and go over with the boys. All right, well, another day in the books. <laughs> <laughs> it does look really good though, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us too, high five. Double high five. All right, let's go hang out with Charles. All right.